So this is the newest thing I'm printing on my Woodstock Delta printer, and that is slinkies. Yes, these are coiled, repeated radial segments that adhere just right to one another so that you can peel them apart and make a slinky afterwards. I saw this on Hackaday, and I had originally seen it on at the Midwest Ref Prep Festival. Mike M.P. Clouser, I guess it's Mike Clouser, came up with a JavaScript for uh, making G-code to do slinkies. And you enter in these values, temperature, average radius, width, layer height, degree per zigzag, height, offset, fudge factor. The fudge factor is the important one. And then it makes G-code for you. And here's some of the G-code that it makes. And basically it's just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And back and forth over and over and over again. So it's lots, lots of lines. But pretty cool, and it makes slinkies, so. And here's the result. This is regular PLA. This is not any special material. It behaves exactly like the slinkies you used to have when you were a kid. So I had to make a little staircase for demonstration at Delaware at the Hagley Maker Fest tomorrow, or on Saturday. Oop, missed one. Try again. Yeah, dropped off. It's hard to do with one hand. Yay! Isn't that awesome? Slinkies with a 3D printer. JavaScript. Thank you, Michael Clauser. Okay, so here's a Magic Spring or Slinky hot off the press. And uh, this was the side that was on the build platform. It prints a sacrificial ring first, at least the newest JavaScript version that I got from Michael. And here's the, the last layer. And if you look, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a little concave on top because it, it doesn't know whether to stick to the previous layer or not, so it kind of distorts a little bit, but you know, it doesn't seem to affect. Look how even. Let me see if I can end that up. Okay, so there's the, the, the end there. So I'm just going to take, let's try my right hand since I'm right-handed. Take my fingernail and just kind of start it pulling up. Hard to do with one hand. There. And now that it started, uh, need a tripod, don't have one. Anyway, now that it started, I'll hold it with my other hand. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's peeling apart. I'm just gotta go around around. So what I do is I take let me see if I can prop this up for a second. There we go. So then you take one of the rings, the sacrificial first layer rings from a previous one. This has got a gap in it, that's okay. And you just kind of shove it in here. And then you start, you can't see it, you start. Round and round and round you go. Round and round and round. So I'm using that ring as a knife. Because if you pull it, it sometimes puts a little too much stress on it and they bend a little bit. So this way you're only separating it with a very thin knife-like piece of plastic. And off we go, and you can see if I keep going round and round, it'll make a full slinky. Pretty neat. So after about a minute of slicing that thing through, you can see we've got a complete slinky with 
this extra this is the first layer see that's a continuous ring so you just take your diagonal cutters and slice that distorted part off and then if there's a little sometimes you get a little sharp bit where the print head left the slinky I don't know if you can see that a little bit I'm just gonna strip trim that off and that's it we have a slinky it's pretty amazing I'm a, I'm impressed by Michael's work.